What if I'm going to tell you guys that you can create a website with a free domain name and free hosting? Yes, it can be done. And in this tutorial, I'm going to share it with you step by step. For those people who doesn't know how these websites are going online, number one, you need to have a domain name. These domain names are this youtube.com, google.com, facebook.com that you are typing on those browsers so that you can access this website. Hosting is the place where you are going to upload your website or save your content so that it will be accessible through the internet. And these are not free, but there are platforms or websites that can offer it for free and I'm going to share it to you step by step in this tutorial. This video guys is intended for students, beginners who are trying to learn the basics of web development because there are tools here that professionals are using that you can practice from. Second, small scale business setup that wants to have online presence but doesn't have a budget for web development. So this will be very useful for you. Now, if you're a pro, just skip this video because it is not for you. Let's get started right now. Now open up your browser and let's go for Freenome where we can get the free domain name. I made a tutorial like this before about nearly two years right now. And some people are having trouble making an account with Free gnome. Now the solution for this is go for incognito mode. Let's go for free gnome. A name for everyone. And here we go. Find a free domain name. But first, let's sign in. So I always use social sign in. And people like what I mentioned earlier that they're having problem with this. So let's try to see. Okay, I'll go for sign in and put in my Gmail credentials. Okay, next. And of course my password. Okay, next. There you go. Click on services and my domains. So I have several or around three of these domain name listed here but we're not going to use that one we are going to register a new domain name we're going to find torogi pro tech that ml because i was the one who got the that tk so that's free you can see there get it now i have it in my cart check out and Change this one to 12 months. So this is free for 12 months. If you want to go over 12 months, you're going to pay. Or if you want this one to be free, wait for the next year that it's going to expire and then register it again and it will be yours. Continue complete order. And ta-da! Check that domain name. My domain's torogetech.ml is there. Now the next thing that we're going to go to is infinityfree.net where we're going to create an account again and get a free hosting. So we're going to leave Freenom first for a bit and create an account here, free hosting. When we are done creating these accounts, we need to connect Freenom account into Infinity so that the domain name we have from Freenom will be connected to the hosting site that we have here. Sign up and check for your confirmation email. So that's what I'm going to do. Click this confirmation and we'll be able to log into infinityfree.net. Okay, it's time to log in. Okay, we're in. We have zero accounts created yet. This is how the infinity free dashboard looks like. Let's go and take a tour with the domains. They are selling domains as well, domain names, but we're not going to buy one. So I'll close this one and go back to Freenom. Manage the DNS. Here on the management tools, we go for name servers. This is using the DNS of 
Freenom, but we're going to change that one with the DNS of Infinity Free. Let's go back to Infinity Free. I'll also put this link on the description below, how to add your own domain to your account. These are the DNS servers of Infinity Free. And take note, if you are going to use these domain servers, you're going to update the domain servers of Freenom. They are saying it will take up to 72 hours. So I'll just, sorry, I'll remove this ones, one domain name server per field. Let's put a one. Okay. Oops. And save. Change. Okay. Let's try to check it again to make sure it's changed. Okay. So we're using the name servers of Infinity Free. Let's go back to Infinity Free and continue our configuration. Let's create a new account. And here, these are the steps. We need to put in a domain name, but we're not going to use their domain names. We're going to use our own domain name. Go for use a custom domain. We're going to put in torogitech.ml. And there you go. It's added. We're going to change the account label. The next field is automatic. Let's put in our password. And then let's go create account so this is basically saying that the name servers were not pointed to this hosting though we already changed it but remember they said it will take 72 hours but by experience this will take around 10 to 15 minutes i'll be back after 15 minutes and try it again so i'll post this video okay i'm back let's try this one again hopefully it will work right now so I'll put in my password, create an account. Ta-da! There you go. It's green and it means good. So it's created. That's my username. And let's go to control panel to start doing the website. Okay, it will direct us to that uh, panel, but there's a message here from hi EP to 5008772 approve approve yeah let's go let's just do approve okay thanks the panel will load now now load ha okay so this looks like uh like what these professionals are using when when they're creating website they will have a panel like this and it will be a very good tool for students beginners you can practice because this is free you can play around with this one you can create multiple accounts if you want to. You can configure these things if you want to. Our main goal here is go for um, Sofocalos. Yeah, there you go. We'll be using WordPress, but for those guys who are looking for a way to use a hosting and a free domain name and upload your website, uh, you know that one already because this is for the sake of the beginners. We're going to install WordPress and install now that's how simple it is we are going to put in we don't need to change any configuration here the same okay this one let's just put in torogitech simple tech tutorial Change your password. This is the default. It means pass, admin in pass. So I'll change mine. All right. Should do it. You basically select a template here. So I'll, I'll just go for the first one because it seems like I like the Apple install. This will not take long. 
just wait for it. Okay, now we're done. So this is the link of our website, torogetak.ml. And the second link that we have here is where we're going to edit the website. So let's visit our website first. Yeah, oh, that's very cool, man. I didn't even do a lot of coding here. So yeah, because it's WordPress. <laughs> so we'll basically edit the things that we're going to edit there. Let's go and you can also type in wp-admin. You add it there. It's the same, it is the same with the link here. So if you click that one, it will direct you to torogipro.ml slash WP admin. And let's start customizing our website so that you can see for those who doesn't know how to use WordPress. But if you have been using WordPress before and you just don't know how to put it online, we're done here. But for the sake of those who want to make their website with WordPress and doesn't know how to use it, let's just do a quick tutorial here. Let's just go ahead and change that main image that we have there. I'll put my own picture. So that would be the main page. Staying a bit, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Hmm. Let's try to check our website refresh oh that's me that's my website let's go ahead and new page let's create a page okay put the title let's say contact me and Let's just go ahead and type something here. Sorogi Pro email. Okay, publish. Let's let's go and visit our website. <gasps> there you go. We have contact me. There. So those are the pages that we're creating. How about if we do something like the color because I cannot see that one. So let's go ahead here colors. Let's put that one to red. I mean, yeah, red. Okay, there you go. It changed to red. Let's just go ahead and publish this one as well. Publish. Then refresh. <gasps> yeah, there you go. It's changing. So how easy is that? Let's try to post something here. So I'll go for post. And I'll go add title. This is the new website. Okay, say Elmin, publish. And then, yeah. This is website. <gasps> there you go. This is the new website. So, how easy is this to do? I think it's easy. So, the other features, the other way you can go around and edit this one, feel free to play along. It's a free website and it's a free hosting. So you can go ahead and play. You create your website and that's it. Now, if you like this video guys and you have learned something, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share it to your friends. I hope to see you on my next video.